It's finally summer. None of my clothes fit. I need a new dress. Let's make a summery tiered dress. Let's start this, shall we? The pattern. I don't know what's happening up there. It's like this. It will stay like this. I have the front figure out, but I don't have the back figure Bump out. all darts to the high figure point and create a French dart on the sides. Lower the neckline to a soft V and that's it. This is the front. The back will be just a wide strip for time. So I remove the dart and stretch the center back a little bit. She's laying on top of Steve's pillow. This is her favorite spot nowadays. Did you sleep well, the sushu? He has nothing to add. The fabric. I have the perfect fabric. Where is it? If I can find it, I have the perfect fabric. I have a chili with me today. My inspiration for this was the Bremer Stadtmusikanten, like the animals are singing on top of each other. So I have like Jenna's animals. I need to add ears to the greyhounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we have ears. This is our Jenna Marbles. Bremer Stadtmusikanten inspired design. I want the lines to be delicate so we will not fight the tie-dye. Oh my god, this video terrified me. This one. I forgot about the hamster. What is this animal? <laughs> well, this hamster is not cooperating with me today. The more I try to tweak it, the more it's a bear. Okay, I don't know how to draw a hamster. What if I just add the dead face like without an outline? Still not a hamster. It's either a bear or a cat. It's not a hamster. I give up. <laughs> All this trouble just to fix this hole. Well, we have a dead hamster cat bear in the design right now. We have a seamless pattern. Oh my god. I hope she's not mad that I put the dead hamster as a dead hamster, even though it looks like a dead bear cat. You could use a swirl like the tails instead of the hamster. Oh, that, that would also be a good idea. Maybe the final result will not have a dead hamster in it. A few months later. This is my Jenna Marbles fabric. And it's cute as hell. This is bunny. This is peach. This is summit. And this is, this is marbles. But I will need a lining. I don't feel like being transparent. Now let's cut the mock slash lining. It's getting warm here. <laughs> I don't know why, but today is a day where my anxiety is through the roof. Change of plans. I'm a very busty girl. I need some, um, I need, I need structure to hold my boobs in place, especially when I'm not wearing a bra. So I will make a little bit thicker so I can have more, so everything will be in place. So I'm using this old curtain. It's a thicker fabric, but it's breathable. And I will use that to make a base where I can put rigidly, pull more, put more pressure on the fabric so I can close it correctly. Yeah, close it. <laughs> Let's test our beautiful lining slash mock. I feel like a full spare. This is what we have. I will ignore this for now because it's just a test. Again, I have a lot of fabric here. I would still need a dart here to make it look good and I don't want to put a dart there and I don't like this dart either. <laughs> Let's redress the front. The back is fine, but the front is ugh. I changed the design to have a princess seams to the shoulder and a sweetheart-ish neckline. With the remaining upper part of the bodice, I created a sort of bolero detail on the front. And these were all the final pattern pieces. Try number two. I'm not sure if I'm keeping this very bobby dookie. I don't think I want to make the bobby duke dress again. I'm gonna keep this. Just the back. This will be a little bit more to the middle. Because I want to hide the bacon a little bit. Yeah, be quiet. I like this. What do you think? Loosely. 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 The belly trap. The assembly. I'm trying my amazing microphone to see if it's better than only having the wireless thing attached to me. The fly is still here. Seriously, how didn't it die yet? Die already. It is what it is. Sushi, can you come over here please and kill this fly? How will I put this together? This is the under part already with all the rigoline and everything closed down. And I will attach this to the front, but we have a hole here. My brain is doing weird things again. I never sewn such a thin fabric with this machine before. <laughs> the fabric is batching too much, so I will try to sew this with this paper on top, Zeidenpap here, that will supposedly take off the pressure from the fabric and not make it. <laughs> it didn't change much. I'll attach this thing. 
I I messed up the back panels. I forgot that I had this and I cut the extra fabric out from here. Arr! But in the move I was able to find my beautiful extra seam ripper that broke. So I'm happy. This will break my brain for sure. I already know it. So it's looking weird, but I have to finish this to check the damage. Ugh. These two edges here are weird, but it kind of worked to the skirt. 12 hours later. Turns out I hate it. I don't know how to sew that stupid hole decently. So I will change the design again because I'm lazy. And now it will be like this. Just a nice flush so I can close it. That's it. I've had it. No. So here we are, the new lining without any rigeline yet. Look at this awful fabric that's spraying all over front to lining, right side facing. And of course, in between the things for me to tie the top. <laughs> I love making my own patterns, but sometimes you just should give up and buy a pattern that's already done. <sighs> okay, all pinned and ready to go. Way better. I don't even think I will need a rigeline right now. Ha! I had to do this on the front because there was a lot of fabric here and I didn't want to pick it apart again to fix this. So I just sheared the neckline a little bit lower, not that bad. And it will save me at least two hours. So I'm fine with that. There are no mistakes, only design choices. Always. Always. Let's move to the skirt. Are you gonna take a shower today? Yes. Because you stink. We bought a new shower nozzle for Shushu where you can put the shampoo. But it came from China with no instructions, so we have no idea how this is going to work. I'm eating chips because I am out of order today. Let's see when the panic kicks in. Oh no! I'm being washed. Mmm, wow. scratches! It scratches you so! Oh, you're so sad! Are you sad? Oh no! Thank you, at Weird Shampoo Lady Frau. Check her channel out, she's amazing. She's very funny. You don't even know where she falls. The girl with the dogs. The uh, black hair! Sushi! Oh, you're so pretty. You look like Elf. And it's time for the evil hair dryer. Who is this Pokemon? Now we spray her with evil vodka. Ah! Come here. Come here. Sushi. Lay. Fine shoe. The skirt. So here I come with weird sandwiching ideas again. I will add a waistband here for the skirt. So I will attach this directly onto the bodice. And stitch it. And then attach the skirt. Do you think it's gonna work? I wanted the skirt to be around 85 centimeters long with a waistband. Cut through the fabric with the measurement of your waist. Then the first panel is wider than the rest with the length of the width of the fabric. And I added half a width to the length of the strip to create a gentle ruffle. With five panels, the last strip was three times the fabric width in length. Ruffle the upper part of the strips and sew them with the right sides facing to the bottom part of the upper one. Until the end. Got it? This is how I die. You don't understand, do you? What are you doing, mother? Why are you stabbing the grass? Why am I stabbing the grass? You don't understand, do you? I'm so sorry. The ice dye! These are all my powder dyes. How does this work? Clarne. One of these goes into half a liter of water. What colors do I have? Violet, blue, green, ocean blue, yellow, pink, and red. But I don't think I have seven squishy bottles. Of course, I'm doing a rainbow because I sometimes have no better ideas than rainbow. I should have the color sequence by now, but I don't. And it's red. 
then orange, then yellow, then green, blue, blue, pink and purple. Oh no! I think I will mix this to make the orange because I don't have an orange. And... Do -do 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 -do. Where will I mix this? I'll be right back. Plastic bottles! Just to be sure I have enough. One teaspoon of powder to this of water. <laughs> 100 milliliters per <laughs> bottle. I should be wearing gloves not to stain my fingers, but I'm not doing that. I will just be very careful. I never use dyes before, I always use. Ah! I always use um, fabric paints or some other paint. The first one. I just hope this is enough. This is kind of transparent even. Worst case scenario, it will be a pastel rainbow. This ocean blue is purple. I think the paint will oxidize and then turn blue, but I'm not sure, it's very purple. I was just scared. a mix of all the colors. I think I'll put something in <laughs> and see how it turns. Now I just need to head to the store and buy some ice. I will be right back. One eternity later. Apparently there is an ice shortage in Hamburg because I had to go to three different stores to get ice. The hell? Warm water. Salt. We need to put this, put the dress the way we want to paint it. Now let's put some ice. Now it's time for some paint. It's calculated, I have eight colors and not seven putting much of the purple because the blue and the purple are not that different anyway. Time-lapse time! Well, it took, what, two and a half hours for everything to melt. I'm gonna just leave this here for a few hours. I'll, I'll leave it like this. Maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. The day after and it's time to rinse. Hopefully this color will stay a little bit. this but I still have to get a little bit more comfortable with my new curves and the extra bacon added over the past 12 months. Whatever, release the bacon, be happy. The colors are very really nice, they are exactly how I wanted them to be, light and also not too tie-dye bitch! Very watercolory, more subtle than normal tie dye would be. I didn't want to put a zipper on this very thin sheer fabric. I have a slit. I'm a lady.
snaps here and three snaps here to close it. So when you open, it's like an apron. I think I need more clothing like this. Cotton Batiste is very, very, very shitty to sew, but it's so flowy and so airy. I love it. I love it. And the girls are also on place without Rigeline. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Subscribe. Being stuck. <laughs> Sush. Come on here. Keep your butt alone. Did she come? Shine. Come. Come in. There you are. Steve has been placing random things I made around the room, and I finally found the three of them. Hmm. The color kind of went to the bottom part of the glass. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder what this will turn out like.